Welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. In today's uh, lecture, we will uh, see how to find the Laplace transform of a periodic function. Here we will uh, see the formula and also the derivation for this periodic functions Laplace transform. So first uh, start with the formula. If f of t is a periodic function with the period capital T, then the Laplace transform of uh, f of t would be 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus st integral 0 to t e to the power minus st f of t dt. Here see that this capital T is the time period of the periodic function. Okay. So, by the basic definition of any periodic function, we know that uh, if f of t is a periodic function with the period capital T, then the value of t plus f of t plus capital T would be f of t. The value of a function, a periodic function, does not change when I add in this t any multiple of the time period. It means it would be same to f of t if I write it as t plus t or t plus 2 times of capital T, t plus 3 times of capital T because the periodic function repeats itself after every time period. Okay. Now let's uh, see the derivation of this periodic function, the Laplace transform of the periodic function. By the basic definition of Laplace transform, we know that the Laplace transform of f of t is 0 to infinity is integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st f of t dt. This is the basic definition of Laplace transform of a function f of t. So, it can be written as since f of t is a periodic function, so the limits of integral from 0 to infinity for this uh, periodic uh, function has been uh, divided into 0 to t plus 2t sorry from 3 to 2t 2t to 3t and so on okay this is the same formula here i have uh, named it as i1 this as i2 and this part as i3 and so on okay now let's uh, consider this i2 part this part this in this i2 i will substitute this t as t plus u okay the here uh, capital t is the time period now i will differentiate this with respect to t so here differentiation of t with respect to t is 1 equals to this is a constant time period so it is a 0 differentiation and du by dt so we get dt equals to du now see the limits since in this i2 uh, we uh, we can see that here it is dt so these limits are corresponding to this time here the limits are from t equals to t to t equals to 2t so if i am going to change this dt to du then it would be the limits of u so from this see here uh, that uh, here when t is equals to capital t then u would be equals to zero from this relationship put here t equals to capital t and in the same way when t equals to 2t then u would be equals to capital t so i have replaced i have changed these limits okay so limits have been changed from t to 2t to 0 to t and also see here this formula has been changed the e to the power minus s this is small t has been replaced by capital t plus u okay and this f of t again this t by capital t plus u and this dt by du okay now just uh, a simple mathematics e to the power minus st take it out because uh, it is a constant part okay just uh, open this bracket and integral 0 to t e to the power minus su f of u du why it is so 
because f of t plus u can be written as f of u due to the basic property of the periodic function this uh, e to the power minus st what is this part this part is nothing but i1 as you can see i1 is this limit 0 to t e to the power minus f of minus st f of t dt so it is nothing but e to the power minus s u f of u du just uh, uh, replace u by just consider u as t so e to the power minus st f of t dt it is nothing but i1 so i can replace it as e to the power minus st times of i1 in the same way in i3 what is i3 i3 is this so i want to write this i3 also in terms of i1 so let's do the same thing replace this t with 2t plus u in uh, this uh, i3 okay and uh, if i differentiate with respect to time then i will get this dt equals to du and just changing the limits as we have seen okay so limits from 2t to 3t would be changed would be changed to u equals to 0 to u equals to t okay so i3 can be written from this relationship as this okay limits from 2t to 3t has been changed to t to 0 to t okay in terms of u and this uh, dt has been changed to u like uh, from this and uh, this is small t replaced by 2t plus u as per this substitution and this f of t by f of 2t plus u just t as this and also we can see that uh, this is a periodic function f of uh, t is a periodic function f of u is also a periodic function so if i add a 2t or 3t or capital t anything and uh, multiple of a period then uh, its value is not changed so it is again equals to f of u as we have seen earlier so it is just uh, you can write it as e to the power minus 2st see here again just open this bracket so e to the power minus 2s of capital T is a constant part so I take it out and uh, inside the integral we have e to the power minus su f of u du okay so it is so here it is equals to f of u now i3 can be written as e to the power minus 2 as t and this is what this is simply i1 okay this is i1 so on continuing in the same way we get uh, i4 equals to e to the power minus 3 s t i1 in this way there it is 3 since here it is 3 so it is 2 s t here it is 4 so we have 3 s t and here it is 5 we have e to the power minus 4 st and for 6 e to the power minus 5 st times of i1 so just see the trend how it is going and uh, we can write it as okay so we have uh, expressed these uh, i2 i3 i4 i5 and so on in terms of i1 in multiples of i1 part so as we have seen that this uh, Laplace transform was uh, in uh, initial stages we have seen that it was equals to i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 and so on so I can write it as here it is i1 and i2 I have written as uh, we have solved it as e to the power minus st times of i1 and for i2 we can write it as okay and so on we have calculated these already so just add them but it is a geometric progression just notice here that it is nothing but a gp geometric progression okay and also a infinite series here the first term is i1 the first term this is a geometric series okay so first term is i1 and this is the term e to the power minus st okay 
uh, if i multiply this by e to the power minus st i get this and if i multiply this by e to the power minus st i get this and this so the common ratio of this gp is e to the power minus st and also here this r is less than one so this is an example of uh, an infinite series so the sum of infinite gp we know that it is a divided by one minus r here r is the common ratio and a is the first term so just put it the put the values here a is i1 here and one minus r is nothing but e to the power minus st so let's rewrite it i1 is what i1 is this we know our i1 is this and this is just place the value of i1 here so i finally got the laplace transform of f of t equals to 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus e to the power minus st integral 0 to t e to the power minus st f of t dt hence it has been proved so it was uh, the laplace transform of a periodic function having the period t so for more such videos you can subscribe my channel and if you liked it then please click on the like button and uh, if you will subscribe my channel you will get the notifications of my uploaded videos okay so thanks for watching have a nice day